Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another first look, namely Hack Mud. Oh, holy cow. Now, this is a game for everyone who is interested in hacking, obviously. Now, I do not know too much about the game just yet, so you will have to bear with me. This is going to be a first look, but this might be a game just up my alley. We shall see. So let's check out what is happening right here. First of all, it asks us to actually create a username. Now I've already gone ahead and actually created the username Nathaniel1985, which is the year I've been born. Yes, I'm this old. Holy cow. Anyways, just for the sake of it, let's actually create another user and we're going to name this user <laughs> Nathan's Sandbox. Yes, something along these lines. So let's hit enter and we want to use the proper command which is create underscore user. There we go. So let's do that. Two of two users have been created. User sentients unverified. Please verify by running trust sentients. Okay, let's do that. Trust dot sentients and hit enter. What is happening now? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you for verifying your sentients. But we did something wrong. We have to do it with the brackets, of course. This is programming, Nathan. What are you thinking about? So the squiggly brackets, there you go, buddy. What do we get out of this? Data is provided to scripts with parameters. Parameters are pairs of keys and values. A key is the name of a parameter. A value is the content of a parameter. Yeah, that's uh, easy and logical. The keys left of the value separated by a colon. To verify your understanding and proceed to the next step, run this script with following key value parameter step zero. Okay, so we have to do trust sentience. Can we just hit the up? Ah, yeah, great. You can hit the up arrow. So the key is going to be called step and then colon zero. There we go. That's probably what they want us to do. Basic sentience verified. Verify basic intellect by proceeding to step one. <laughs> okay, so we hit the up arrow and proceed to step one. There you go. Verification step one, wealth zero. Basic sentience verified. User able to adapt to changing requirements. Verify basic sentience by adding the wealth parameter. Okay, so I guess we can add a new parameter, which is going to be wealth and we want that to be zero, right? Your command line has an error in it, missing a comma. Okay, you have to separate these guys. Following instructions will only get you so far. Demonstrate your will to earn, to consume. Demonstrate your will to earn. Okay. So I guess we just uh, increase our wealth a little bit. How much do we want to earn? Is this like monthly or is this just a one-time payment? Let, let's be, be modest and just go with 100,000. Oh, no, 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 we don't have to write it like that. Beautiful, 100,000. That's what we want. Give, give us the wealth. Okay, hunger for resources confirmed. Proceed to step two. Yes, of course, we can do that. We want to proceed to step two. Security is everywhere. Trust is limited. Text values are useful to provide data that is non-numeric. Text can contain words, letters, digits, spaces and symbols. Specify text or numeric value to continue. So they seem to just give us what we have to type. So that's what we shall do. Password default. Yeah, I guess. Your password is text with the value default. Verify basic sentence by giving step a text value of three. Okay, so we did it right, I think. The step needs a text value of three. And oh, I guess we have to put that in quotes. Step three. Oh yes, that's hacker-like. User demonstrates flexibility in thought. Oh, well, thank you. It's it's just a tutorial. Provide advice to the next sentence in 25 or less characters by adding message. Um, so message, since that is blue, this would be a key. And then we just add a message. What is the next sentence? What is a sentence at all? I have to actually look that up. <laughs> So I guess our message is going to be, I don't know, hack away. What do we get? Other sentients have left these messages for you. 
No, stay a lyle and listen. Walk softly and carry gun. Oh man, I could have been much more original, so these must be other users. This is actually eventually a multiplayer game, I believe so. Provide two user keys as parameters to trust sentience to continue. Okay, so we got one user key right here and what I already learned is that you can use this thing right here to copy stuff in and also keep it for later. And right here the chat, I don't know yet how to use that. Okay, so thinking about this for a little bit, uh, what I believe we have to do is uh, switch to our other user. Uh, how can I s write something? Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, user we want to change to Nathaniel1985. There you go, buddy. And uh, the user sentience is unverified. Please verify by running trust sentience. So we, we have to do the same thing as before. So what exactly unlocked the key? Uh, this one right here, trust sentience, then step three and a message. So I guess we just can hit up and we will change the message here. This one is going to be much more original. Your message must be clear and concise. Less than 25. Oh no. Well, there you go. Less than 25. I do believe so. Great, okay, key for Nathaniel 1985 we have right here. So we're gonna copy this out. Oh, I cannot go on another line. Ah, I see how this is working. This is one of those no line breaking notepads. I hate those. Ah, we're gonna make the best out of it. Good, provide two user keys. Uh, well, first of all, I want to switch back to Nathan's sandbox because of course that is our main account. Okay, provide two user keys as parameters to trust sentients to continue. So what I suspect we have to do is uh, trust sentients, there you go, and we want to open the brackets and then we want to copy these guys right here. Let's do that and control V, oh no, 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 stop, stop, stop that. Okay, there, there we go. After a few mistakes, I managed to finally copy these keys in. There we go. And they seem to be uh, the other way around. They shouldn't be like this. And this is horrible. I have to stop using my mouse. We're just gonna uh, write it ourselves. Second and then h at uh, slash underscore f. There we go. And that means we can get rid of this bad boy. Beautiful. And those are the two keys, right? Correct key pair provided. Okay, consider that it is a tutorial and it does make a lot of sense right now. But look at that, we do get a message from Angie. Hey, listen. Oh God, that is a funny reference. What's the password? Joke. You must have just passed sentience. Don't worry about the trust. She always talks like that. So somber. You'd probably be like that too if you had to know everything. Will you send me back a message so that I know that you can hear me? Chats don't tell to Angie message. You are the best. Okay. So chats don't tell and we want to tell to Angie. Okay. I see how this is working. The message is going to be hi. I'm not sure I like you. Okay. Close that off and oh man. There we go. I did it. Great to hear from you, Nathan Sandbox. Anyhow, just happy to find another sentience out here. I've been pretty stuck ever since I lost contact with my friend Bo. Maybe you can help me to get in touch with him again. Run this script, Anshi.something. See if you can find this username so you can send him a message. Once you've found it, chats tell me his username. Sure. Okay, we can do that. Angie.pub. Let me actually see if I can copy it out of here. Ah, ah, there we go. You can actually right click to copy it in. But I got something mixed up here. There we go. We have to remove this and run this command. Oh, 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 a lot happened here. Angelique's important notes to herself. Best cake recipe. Okay. Oh, here we have a, a weird code. Angie fishy tank. A message I'm sending. Hmm. My username Angie Bo. Yi's username is Bo, of course. Implementation of trilinear interpol. What? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's not going to be important. Fishies chores. Feed them two scoops of food. Let's actually test out this command. What does it do? Fishy tank. Yeah, there we go. 
Some fishes are in the tank. They are swimming and hungry. Do feed, do clean. Okay, so we can add parameters to the fishy tank thingy-majingy. So we do uh, feed the fish, I guess. And maybe we could have done both at the same time. Feeding and cleaning. The fishies are happy! <laughs> Interesting. So is this just like a, an easter egg? Or is this something more meaningful? Let's uh, do clean. The fishies are happy again. Well, that that was an interesting excursion. Let's go ahead and actually tell to Angie. There we go, Angie, and we want to message her the username, which was Bo. Oh no, I forgot the colon. There we go. Message sent. OMG, it's totally just Bo. Props should have tried that myself before having you in my records. Just chatted with Bo and he wants us to join his channel. Chats join. Okay, we ah, oh, look at that. I didn't even realize, but the chat window actually filled itself. Okay, Angie is in and we are of course also gonna join this channel. So the channel is gonna be called... Let's actually just copy this over. I should get used to that. I mean, it's not necessary to type everything in. Apparently, we can just copy it in. And we're going to join the coolest cats channel. Hop in the channel with us. So Bo says, have you guys noticed the colors matching between keys and values in the locks and on system? Oh, it's you, Nathan Sandbox. Great of you to join us. Me and Bo were just talking about the escape plan. Oh wait, you probably don't even know that. We're stuck in here. In the virtual LAN. The trust made it to keep lesser AIs from interacting with Trustnet. There's a wild world of riches of the other side of that wall. And I intend to get at them. Got to start somewhere to get us up to speed. Yeah, need GC. And G has a lead on some abandoned user accounts which can be salvaged. Hi, Nathan Sandbox. So that is now Che. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to introduce Che. She's a cool cat like the rest of us. Wait, you probably don't know how to send us messages back. Say hi with chat send channel and then message. We can do that. We're going to copy this over. However, we're gonna change the message. We are uh, sending the coolest uh, cats chat. Screw you. Oh, it, it would have been embarrassing to send this with a spelling error. But there we go. Screw you. <laughs> oh, nice is the answer. All right, down to business. Cheesy is the currency around here and we're going to need a handful of it if we are getting out of here. We can get Cheesy by scraping it out of that user accounts, but we need to find those first, right? I did a little digging in this script and was able to find a few. Send us a user script to the channel and we'll help you crack it. Should look like user script name blah de blah. Okay, halperion.helpdesk. Let's see what happens here. Welcome to Helperion Systems Help Desk Information System. Unauthorized access is prohibited. Please provide passwords to continue. Okay, let's try a password. So we're gonna enter a parameter and the password is gonna be password. I don't know, maybe they are the stupid. Incorrect password provided. Password hint blue. Password hint blue. So we... Is it just gonna be blue or what? I don't know. Is there a help menu? Okay, help uh, tells you your current task. That is actually cool. I'm, I'm not so sure. Maybe we are just gonna have to do something like a blue ball or I don't know. Maybe it's just many possibilities. Incorrect passwords. Well, what else? Well, a ball is not necessarily blue. Let's go with blue sky. Correct password. Oh, yes. Okay. I, I, this game is good. I love it. It's not too far away from my guessing capabilities. Help desk option notices or getting started. Okay. Uh, pass. Do we have to keep the password in there? Maybe uh, we do. So we're just going to say option and getting started makes more sense to start with, I believe. Uh, please see the desk assignment desk for your desk assignment. <laughs> After desk assignment, please sit at your desk and prepare paperwork. Appearing busy is important at all times of day. Remember to provide positive feedback when questions are asked of you. For more info, please message the appropriate admin. 
Okay, let's do the same thing, but instead of getting started, we're gonna use notices, okay? All non-essential employees, please report to the storage room on floor B3 for a special assignment. Someone changed the password for the help desk roster to some famous four-legged butt sniffer. We are not looking to punish the culprit, we would just like to have the password changed to what it was before. Happy bunny bat day, complimentary bunny bats, uh, oh, whatever. So someone changed the password, interesting. So do we have to get into the uh, help desk roster? Holy cow, what do we have to do? Let's see, we stick with the password and this time we go into the help desk roster. Let's see what that does. Missing roster pass for listing the help desk roster. Ah, this is so cool. Okay, password option and we are gonna add a roster pass. And I guess we have to guess this as well. So they changed the password to some four-legged butt sniffer, which I assume is a dog. So uh, let's just try dog. Dog is incorrect. Okay, let's try um, famous dogs. Rex is a famous dog, right? Come on, come on. Rex is incorrect. I don't know any famous dogs, man. Yeah, I'm not much of a dog person, I have to admit. Do you know Tintin? Maybe that works. Is incorrect. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. Oh, Snoopy. Snoopy is a famous dog. Is Snoopy a dog? I think so, yes. Oh! Oh. Auto okay, so now we have the help desk roster, but there are three accounts on that. What do we have to do with those? I think I'm gonna copy those guys out of here. I'm gonna paste them right here. All of these abandoned accounts. No, these are not abandoned. Well, they are closed accounts, aren't they? I guess we will figure out soon enough, but this is confusing to me that you cannot have multiple lines here. Anyways, what do we have to do? Uh, let's go with the first account. We're just gonna type in this line and see what happens. Connected to abandoned account, denied access. Provide unlock parameters uh, with brackets. Okay, brackets and we have to use easy 21 because that's in blue. What parameters do we have to provide? I don't know what kind of value we would have to add right here. It's not the correct easy unlock command. Okay, so it has unlock commands. Easy, easy. Okay, let's try unlock in this case. Ah, oh, so satisfying. And can Oh no, the connection has been terminated, but we have received some GC from the looks of it. Okay, great. I think we, we are done with the first account and we can copy the second account from here and do the same thing. Can we actually use the easy 21? Let's see if it has the same unlock. No, it's an easy 35 this time. Well, I guess we can still try the same thing. I mean, it's just uh, logical. Easy 35 and the value is gonna be unlock. It's not correct. Open, please. Come on. Open is working. Required unlocked parameter digit is missing. Okay, so we add a digit? What kind of a digit? Zero. Zero is text and not a numeric digit. Ah, digits have to be numeric. Okay. Zero. There you go. It's not the correct digit. Hmm. Let's go with my lucky number. Seven. It's not the correct digit. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we are on the right track. I, I guess we just have to go through all the numbers. Mm, okay. I'm losing faith in this method here. Oh, we we actually did it. Lock unlocked. We got some code here. That is interesting. I didn't notice that before. We might want to copy this out. Did we get a code before too? Yeah, look at that. We got a code from the first account as well. So we should copy that into our scratch book and we received stuff. So that is good from the second account. Let's try out the third account right here. We're gonna hack into that as well and get some more GP going for us. Oh, this is a great game. I love it. Trust communication hardline required. Activate with kernel hardline. Okay, let's try this out. Kernel hardline. And uh, what? Ooh, what is happening here? Locate hardline. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, oh, we have to 
do we have to type that? Let, let me... I don't understand. I think it's progressing by me just typing the numbers. Could I have done something wrong? Because I, I did type a wrong number there. Hardline active. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, can we now maybe hack into the account? I think that that was the right one. Uh, denied access. Easy... Okay, it's just an easy lock. That's cool. But we, we are under time pressure here. I'm not sure if I like that. Are hackers under time pressure? Uh, easy 21, which was unlock. I think this command worked, right? So... Oh, man. This is... This is thrilling here. Uh, unlock is not the correct easy 20... What? I'm not sure. What am I doing wrong? Unlock. This, this was the right command, right? Okay, let's try open. Ah, nice, we did it. Okay, and time is running out. That went down, you get, what? You get in? Awesome, me too. I'm not sure what happened there. I think we did it. We did receive some GC. Sweet, sweet GC. There was this weird message in there after I hacked it. Grave. Oh, weird. It looks like a key value pair. I wonder if we put it in as parameters to the help desk script. So interesting, this is the third parameter we have received from the third account. Yeah, let's try and figure it out for a while. Message the channel when you figure something out. Cool, so now we could use these three parameters that we have gathered as of this point and we could uh, continue. I'm not sure with what, to be honest. Maybe we just have to use like the trust sentience command and then use these values. So for instance, uh, the first value was a3z colon cradle. There we go. Let's test this out. And, and yeah, you know, sometimes it's just going to be figuring out stuff a little bit. My parameters were incorrectly entered. So yeah, I'm not sure how to continue at this point, but I do believe we have enough footage to call this a proper first look. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave down your likes and comments. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye bye.